I wanted to shoot a video since I couldn't find anything online on how to service the hydraulic system on my 2015 Super Z Hyperdrive. Uh, I got this thing at a government auction recently, it had 1200 hours on it, uh, and I just wanted to service it for peace of mind to know that it was current and, you know, if, if the previous owners had neglected it, it was a baseball diamond uh, for a city that had owned it. So. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what was involved for me. Uh, I found a manual online. Um, if you go to hustlerturf.com, you can actually print off. You can punch in your serial number. Uh, I made this book, just took a picture of my serial number and labeled this on the front. And it'll actually give you the manuals, the operator's manual. There's a parts manual. There's parts manuals too. Uh, and a general service manual, which was kind of vague, but uh, if you go through the instructions in here, it tells you uh, how to service this machine. Uh, I was in the hydro system, which is section four in this, uh, and it tells you you're going to use about 12 quarts of 15W40, um, 1550 Mobile One uh, synthetic oil, which is right here um gives you the specification which i think is great a hustler to not make you use their proprietary oil uh save a guy a few bucks if they're servicing their machine themselves uh, anyway it tells you uh to the, the first step over here i've got the machine jacked up um on jack stands right underneath these hooks here on the back and I took off both wheels. I think in the future, if I was doing it again, I just need to take off one wheel, but that gave me plenty of access to get under the machine and get to what I needed to. It was a really simple procedure. I was pretty happy with. Oh, there's a drain plug. There's a drain plug on the reservoir, as you can see uh, right here, and that's a 7 8 drain plug. Uh, came out, it was nice, it wasn't over tightened. And then the filter on uh, the manual, it tells you it's a 15 16 uh, nut on the bottom of this, and that's actually integrated into the filter. Uh, not a cheap filter, but they tell you to do it annually or 500 hours. Uh, I'm just a homeowner, so I think I'm gonna land in the annually category, but I was pleased the fluid came out clean. I don't know how dirty these systems get as they're sealed, but. Uh, the fluid all came out clean. It wasn't milky. It didn't look contaminated, and the filter uh, looked relatively clean. I'll show you what the old one looked like. But I did the, I drained it first, um, and most of the oil came out. And then when I dropped the filter, uh, the rest of the the rest of the fluid, probably about another quarter or so, came out. There's the part number. If you happen to have the same year as me, I don't know what the overlap is in them. Uh, I think the filter was somewhere 80 and 90 dollars. Sorry to bounce you around there, but there's what that filter looks like. It's a self-contained unit. The older styles I know had a canister, but uh, that was about 80 or 90 bucks. I got the Hustler one. I didn't even see any other options, but wouldn't want to chance it um, on a system as expensive as these things are. But uh, I got about 12 quarts out of mine, uh, just under, and they tell you to fill it. They tell you to fill it about an inch from the top of the reservoir. It's kind of hard to see there, but it's about an inch from the top. And then there's bypass valves on these pumps. It tells you with the, once you, once you drain your oil and you change your filter, you put your drain plug back in the bottom, obviously, you put your new filter in, uh, and then you, then you dump your oil uh, right in the top to the top of the reservoir. The manual, uh, if you care to read it, they have them online. As I said, uh, here's a bypass valve. So you fill this thing up, you top it off, then it tells you to open your bypass valves. There's one here, uh, I believe it was a 17 millimeter, kind of odd. Most of, most of the bolts on this machine are standard, which is cool. Uh, I think they're made in Kansas. Um, but the pumps must be, you know, a different, different animal that they buy from somebody else and that was a 17 millimeter. I backed that out uh, about three quarters of the way. It will come all the way out. Uh, I just, once I discovered it would come all the way out, I just turned it a couple turns back in. There's another one on this side, uh, right down here. 
same same position on it and that was easier to get to from the bottom um, so you you open those up you start the machine it tells you to start the machine um, with those open in your reservoir topped off cap on obviously and then you take your levers uh, and you start it in the neutral position and then you you move them in you move your levers all the way forward and all the way to the rear uh, five or six times uh, and then you you shut the unit off you top it back off it took after I topped it off I think it took about another two three quarts of fluid I put I put eight in to begin with and uh, ran it through the purge process and then top that unit off again I'm getting ready to close those bypass valves and then you you run it once more and then you run it around and make sure you you know check for leaks so on and so forth so hope this helps somebody uh if anybody's got any better insight or notices something i did wrong uh, drop a line in the comments take care guys